here is my version of mango tart. You can use other fruits aside from mango tarts to make just fruit tarts. I hope you like my version. Let's get started. For the pastry crust, you need one cup all-purpose flour, one tablespoon sugar, one four teaspoon baking powder, one half teaspoon salt, one third cup shortening, or you can use butter, three to four tablespoon water. If you use butter, you need cold water. For the pastry cream, you need one tablespoon butter, one third cup sugar, two tablespoons cornstarch, two teaspoons of mango flavoring, one cup fresh milk, two egg yolks, one tablespoon unflavored gelatin, two tablespoons water, two thirds cup whipping cream. For the mango glaze, you need one tablespoon unflavored gelatin, one third cup water, one teaspoon mango flavor, and of course, you need two ripe mangoes for this recipe. For the crust, you can mix it by hand. Uh, if you want to do that, you can check my other uh, YouTube videos, uh, apple pie, buko pie. I mixed it by hand. But today, since somebody asked me, I will mix this with a mixer. I have here flour, sugar, baking powder and salt. Mix this together. You know, when I make pie crust, I always like to use shortening because shortening will give you a flakier crust, though it has less flavor. But I depend uh, on the flavor in the filling, so I just use shortening. But in case you want to use butter, make sure you use cold water. So after you mix the flour, the sugar, the salt, and baking powder, you add in the shortening. Actually, it's very fast using a mixer. It keeps your hands clean. You mix until the shortening is coated with the flour. If you're doing this by hand, you just rub the shortening between the palm of your hands on the flour. If you use a mixer, it will look like pulburon. See? It will look like a pulburon mixture. And then, we add water. If you're using butter, please use cold water. Add but, uh, water gradually. We only need enough water to bind. Okay, see? You check this by hand. I'll finish the, mixing this by hand because I don't want to over mix. Okay. What you do is you press the dough together. See, we have enough water. This is only three water. Okay. I'll put it here so you can see. So what you do is just press them together. Okay. The next step is important. You let it rest for about 15 to 30 minutes. The purpose of this is you allow the gluten to relax. So when you roll it out, it will not shrink back. Okay, we'll set this aside. If it's butter, put this in the refrigerator. We will make the pastry cream. I have here sugar, cornstarch, then we have milk. Then I have egg yolks. Normally I temper the egg yolks, but this is a very small amount. So I'll just add this directly. I haven't put on the heat yet. I'm trying to mix this. And then we have butter. You can add this last, but I might forget, so I'll add it now. Over here, you have gelatin and water. You sprinkle the gelatin over the water. Always sprinkle the gelatin so that it's gradually absorbed by the water and then you don't get a lot of lumps. All right? Okay. And then the flavoring, we add it here. This is uh, ma mango flavor and color. Okay, let's put the heat on. All right? Until the mixture is thickened. All right, then this is ready. So we will uh, cool this. All right, we will roll out the dough now. This has rested. I'm using, uh, this is a regular nine inch pie plate. If you use a disposable pie plate, you'll find out that the uh, diameter is nine inch, but it's a little bit thinner. If you have difficulty lifting it, you can put it on a 
sheet of uh, plastic. By the way, if you roll and it falls apart, sometimes you just need to add a little bit more water. Okay? You try to form this into a circle one inch bigger than your pipe plate. So if you turn it over, if you'll see, it's small. So, you know, I, I don't like my crust very thick, so I always uh, try to make sure that my crust is thin. You try to maintain a round shape, try. You know, sometimes if it comes out squarish, you can take out one portion and then patch it here. So this is good. So you just put this here in the middle, lift this, lift the plastic and turn it over. See, it's very easy if you use plastic. And then slowly peel this off. Be careful. You don't want to tear the crust. Okay. And then what we do is we fold the extra. And then we will form like a collar. I'll press this so it will stand up. You try to make it even. When I see it's more or less even, I'm going to flute. You put your pointing finger in between or if you find it difficult you can just press this with the tines of the fork but this one is prettier and then next thing we need to do is so that the center will not rise we will dock this with a fork and then you bake this at a 375 degree oven for about uh, 20 minutes or until the crust is cooked. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Alright, this is for our uh, mango tart or mango, mango pie. Remember the gelatin? We're going to heat this. For the whipping cream, I'm using all-purpose cream because all-purpose cream tastes a lot uh, tastier than non-dairy. For icing, I like non-dairy. Alright, so here, once it's whipped, remember the uh, ma mango pastry cream that we made? Okay, we'll add it here. Okay, let me scrape the sides. Let's make sure that everything is well blended in. All right, then we will add in our gelatin. You have to work fast because this is cold. If you don't work fast, you will have difficulty transferring this into the pipe plate. All right, so here, Give this a quick stir and then let's pour this in. By the way, I use one cup all purpose cream instead of two thirds cup of the cream in the recipe. Yeah. I just wanted a little bit more. Make sure you seal all the edges because we are going to put a glaze. We don't want the glaze to go under the crust. We don't want the glaze to go under the crust, yeah. So you make sure you seal it well. You can also fold in some mangoes if you like. But what I do is I put just, I just put lots of mangoes on top. You can use a, uh, what they call Nutrigel. It's ready made. The glaze, actually the purpose of the glaze is so that you will not, uh, of course to make it look nice, but so that the uh, mangoes will not discolor. They have ready-made uh, neutral glaze or cold jelly, which you can use. If you don't have access to that because you only buy that in bakery supply stores. If you don't have access to that, then you just use gelatin. 
This is gelatin, sprinkle water. And then you have the coloring, flavoring. And then you just heat this in the microwave. And then brush this on top of the mangoes, okay? It's up to you how you slice the mangoes. I like to slice them long and then overlap them and then go around until you fill up the whole top but you can't see the cream anymore and if there are holes you patch them up if you want to put more mangoes you can and then what you do is we heat the glaze you can microwave all you have to do is brush the glaze on top Make sure that you seal all the mangoes. Don't worry about the glaze that's drip that's dripping on the plate. That's normal. We will clean up the plate once this one is chilled properly. So you make sure that everything is covered with the glaze, especially the mangoes, so that it will not discolor it. And then let's put this in the refrigerator and bring this back once it has set. Alright? 